They're coming back again, I think. Distraction. I'm trying to get this stuff set up. guys Brian here with another episode of fishing control as you can hear my voice sounds terrible um, the last video you saw me at upload which I uploaded just a few days ago um, I actually shot like three and a half weeks ago um, since then uh, we've had to move our house uh, I had the flu I had to go out of town twice for work while sick uh, but we have finished the move I'm better though not well all the way. I'm well enough to be out here. I'm not sick anymore. I'm just still dealing with the aftermath. Um, I may sound, you know, like this for a little while. Hopefully not too much longer. Um, staying well hydrated, well vitamined, and well fed. Uh, definitely well fed. So we're gonna see if we can find some fish. The water temperature's warmer. There's a little bit of a wind coming from where I didn't really want it to. I couldn't fish where I wanted to because it is St. Patty's week. So it's very crowded down here on the island. Uh, but uh, I have many announcements. You probably noticed at the beginning of the video uh, that I was loading up the truck out of a garage. So as we get the house more set up and get that garage cleaned out uh, of all the stuff from moving, uh, we will definitely be doing some projects in there working on some things and some in-studio shots and things. But enough about that, let's get some fishing done. I'll try and shoot this part blocking the wind as best I can. We're going with four rods today, two tens, an eight, and a six. The six is a bass rod typically. Uh, everybody's got shrimp and fish bites. We have sand flea fish bites and shrimp fish bites on. Uh, a couple of different colors of rigs, one rig with no float on it. Um, we're gonna put the small ones uh, really close and the two big ones as far as I can get them. Uh, I think there's kind of a slick working out here where there may be, yeah, I see bait jumping, so there could be some fish in close here and we're gonna find out as quick as we can. All right, this is the 10 foot Ozark trail rod. We're gonna try and put it where I think I see that second line, kind of like maybe right between the two a little. Let that sit right there. Next one's going to be the first up close rod, which is going to be the eight footer. There's a single drop, pop float. This is just going to be a little flick out. I think we're getting hit on this first rod already. That was 
possibly a hit. We're gonna let it sit until I know for sure. This one is also gonna go as far as I can. I'm gonna start upstream a little with this crosswind. And goodbye. That's a fish here. Missed him. Freaking missed him. We're gonna get back on that as quick as we can. There's a fish on that one. I got this one. Whiting. Might use you as bait, bud. I think I'm on another fish. I didn't even get to put this rod down. I just casted it. Yep. Think I'm on the whiting. You think I'm on the whiting? I didn't even get to put the rod down. A little whiting? Yeah. I just caught one, cast it back out, didn't even get to put the rod down. And he was on there. That must be a good school of them out there. Fish on down here. Got it. Yeah, man. I got a YouTube channel. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Got him. Oh man, that's a fat whiting. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one, folks. Fish are back. Okay. Okay, if there's that many whiting out there, there could be something chasing whiting out there. So I'm gonna put uh, one of these other rigs on. And we're gonna put a big piece of white. So I got three whiting in the cooler. So that's some food for gourdless. Maybe I'll put this big fatty, fatty fat fat on. I think that's the move. I think that's the move right there, fellers. What do you think? It's basically a giant single dropper rig. 
the 30 pound test and the nice fat hook. I think if I put a chunk of whiting out on that, something is bound to happen. The big stupid rig is about to go out as far as I can get it. That seems good. Is that a fish on this? That's hilarious. There's a fish on here I didn't know I had. But he will... I will gladly join him with his friends. So that is an absolutely on fire whiting bite right now. A lot of people wouldn't even care, but I'm happy it's going on. That's a fish on the bass rod, I think. It's definitely a hit. Damn it. I don't think it's there anymore. We'll go ahead and check the bait. Get it back out there. I'll have to hit on this rod though. That's a double up. That's a double up over here. Stay on there. Stay on there. I got this one. Let's get this one. Are you still there? I think so. My shoulder's gonna be worn all the way out. These are wrapped up. Another small one, I think we'll let this one go too. Oh 
another small one. <coughs> Speak to me, fish gods. Could be a fish on here. It's hard to tell. There's so much damn slack on it. Oh shit. This might be something different. Oh goodness. What have we done? This feels like it might be a big ass stingray or something. Something large and dead weighty. Got a bunch of slack line on my next route over now. The hell have I caught here? Freaking horseshoe crab. Man, it's got my other line. That's why there's some weirdness going on. These are a nightmare to get undone. Ugh. Okay, well, Well, that sucked. My birds are coming back. Oh. Let's see if it was a fish or a crab. That's the game out here. Yeah, I know. Fish or a crab. I just, see that? I totally just caught a horseshoe crab. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think he's there. Yeah, I think he's there. I think so. You know, with these format of four ounce storm sinkers, it's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll keep him. Why not? Goody. Yeah. That's like just about the start of keeper size right there. Yeah. Which of course there's no real limit. It's not on the whiting. No. Yeah. So. Sweet. Yeah. Second one. Yeah. 
Come on. Well, we'll check it anyway. I painted those beads myself. I do a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. And I got a whole collection there. That's another one. Yeah. That's a meal. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I put it down <laughs> there's something on that rod hey will you grab that small rod Hooked on two rods. <laughs> that was everything all at once. Get him? I did get him. He was a little one. I let him go. Boy, did that thing pick up. Something's on the eight footer, too. This one now. Another good one. Hell yeah. Oh hell. There's a little guy on that. He was just that little. Conditions are just that rough out there. There's a lot of current out there, but we gotta let that dude go. He's just under the, the size. I've got plenty in the cooler, so. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Fishing Control. Uh, it was a very successful day. Not only, not only did we fill the cooler with whiting, but uh, you know we had a fun time out here. Caught a a horseshoe crab and talked to a bunch of new people um, got some new subscribers uh, got to teach a guy about some stuff and also things I'd say overall it was a pretty fun day out here um, there are two rods out but I'm probably gonna wrap this here in a moment um, I could fish for probably another I don't know, hour and a half or something but uh, I think I'd rather go ahead and head to the store and start dealing with these fish that I have in the cooler. It's gonna be like seven, 
I think, whiting in the cooler. So that's going to be a nice little fish fry. Uh, I think, think we're going to do that. So thanks for watching Fishing Control, and we'll see you on the next trip.